I just want to put this energy out into the world so I can guarantee it's out there. Police officers and politicians are not bad at their jobs. And if you catch yourself constantly wondering or constantly surprised at how bad they are at their jobs, what I need you to understand is their job is not what you think it is. So you say, well, police are here to keep us safe, to protect communities, support people, and uh, catch criminals, right? And to prevent crime. But you look at their records and you can see that that's not true. They only solve 2% of crime. Crime is highest in the areas that they have the most presence and they're incredibly ignorant on the laws that they enforce and they're in super violent and aggressive and usually racist. And you think, how bad are they at their jobs? And yet they're a billion dollar industry. You can't be that incompetent and that's successful. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. The police are incredibly good at their jobs. They're very effective at their jobs because they only have two. Number one is to feed the prison system and keep slavery going. Number two is to disrupt communities. Ask yourself why the only thing police ever seem to be ready for are riots. Because riots are an inevitable conclusion of oppression. That's always been their job. They need to be violent. They need to be cruel. They need to follow orders without thinking about it. They are being as aggressive as they are right now because they're scared. Because the real threat to all of this has never been violence. The real threat to all of this has always been community unification. That's why they are all working so hard to keep us down, to keep us tired, to keep us isolated, to keep us from talking to each other, to keep us from liking each other. Their job is to divide us. So the politicians can do their job of transferring wealth from us to the top. It's a simple game. But that's, that's the whole game. But the fact that they are all going in this hard right now with laws that they're passing, with the police that they are sending out, means that they are terrified. Because they live every day in constant fear that they will get their comeuppance. They know what they're doing is wrong and evil. They're just hoping that they die before they face consequences for it. That's why they act this aggressively this early on. Because they're terrified of what happens if this grows. So as you are participating in and watching these events unfold, keep these things in mind. Building community is the most dangerous and powerful thing that we can do. They're not scared of riots. They're scared of us figuring out how to take care of each other. It's not enough to know what we don't want to be. We have to know what we are going to be instead. So keep each other safe. Keep each other connected. Don't give up and listen to native voices because they've been fighting this fight a lot longer than we have.